Hello everyone, my name is Xi Yang Song. Now this presentation is about don't sleep late at night. Uh, all of all, okay, this is the main point of my speech. Uh, the first one is the phenomenon of the sleep, uh, sleep late at night. And the second uh, benefit of our action as we sleep less late at night. And the third, I will tell you some tips how to have a good sleep. Uh, all our fans would like to know how to sleep well so as uh, to be our best when we get up. One of the important parameters involved in how to sleep well is the time of, go of going to sleep. Most of us have experienced that we are not at our best in the morning when we get, uh, go to sleep uh, late at night. Some of us are aware about the ill effective of going to sleep late at night and at the physical and the psychological level. Um, however, either due pressure of work or party, more and more people are going to sleep late at night. This speech we take a look at what happens in the sub-dimension when we go to sleep late at night. Uh, this will help us take an educated decision about how to sleep well from the perspective of when we go to uh, shoot, uh, shoot to sleep at the night time. And in this part, I will show you uh, the benefit of our action as we sleep at night. Uh, and uh, um, when we sleep late, your body and nature a ton of uh, destructive hormone like cortisol in your bloodstream. Cortisol is a stream, a stream hormone. Um, much, uh, too much of it, and uh, it can seriously affect your cell, uh, cell healthy. Uh, this explains why all this will after. 12 a.m. Your body always felt incre increasingly wasted, uh, not just a sleepiness, but a general sense of uh, uh, latency uh, seems through your entry body. When you force your body to stay up in the wee hours of, uh, of the morning, your body re uh, react by releasing a, a lot more cortisol into into your bloodstream. Uh, this new fox, the castle, is exactly what you don't need. Castle increases blood pressure, weakness the Im immune, immune system, uh, slow down your growth and uh, cell renew. The interface with the sleep by reduce the, uh, to, to reduce this level. Uh, some authors even call castle the death hormone. Uh, now, that's why doctors have been saying get less sleep increase your immortal rate. And uh, in this part, well, where I, will, uh, I will separate the, uh, the time after sunset by four, four block. And uh, we can see it starts at 6 p.m. and uh, end, end to the 6 a.m. And in this first three hours block of time, uh, immediately after sunset, the benefit of our welfare action is far less than during the uh, pod before the sunset. Uh, that means in this part, you have the uh, highly activity in, in, this, in this part. So your work is infensity. Infan but in this part, in the next three hours block of the benefit of our uh, spirit actions also start reduced. Uh, that means uh, in this part at 9 p.m. to the uh, to the midnight, uh, you uh, you action your uh, your action rate will reduce, but you also have the uh, the less uh, highly activity. Uh, and uh, in the third uh, in the third segment segment of the three hours block, benefit any types of action will will fall or the uh, distance. Uh, spirit or widely is highly re reduced. Um, that means in this part you almost uh, cannot work uh, highly activity. Um, in, and uh, in this part it's a good time to sleep now. In this, uh, in this uh, 12, 12 p.m. to 3 a.m. And uh, as a, f a final block, 
uh, during the last three hours um, before the sunrise, we again start getting benefit of our well for actions. Uh, that being said, if you if you are not sleep at the three p.m. to six p.m. Uh, three a.m. to six a.m. Uh, it's a uh, it's like the uh, uh, multiple. <laughs> and now I will tell you some tips to how to have a good sleep. Um, the first one is light is play a uh, a significant role, a role in the sleeping circle and uh, create a relaxed uh, bedtime, uh, bedtime routine is uh, necessary and uh, what is more, eat right and uh, have regular exercise and now I will show you a video about how to have a good sleep Videojug and the Sleep Council have teamed up to produce this guide to getting yourself to sleep. Step 1. Food and drink. Avoid coffee, tea, cocoa and cola drinks late in the evening, as they all contain caffeine, which may keep you awake. Remember, your nightcap has a price. Alcohol may make you sleepy, but you may not sleep too well, not to mention the hangover. Malted food drinks like Ovaltine are much better. Bedtime snacks will help too, but don't stuff your face before bed because your body will have to stay awake half the night digesting your meal, so you won't feel rested in the morning. Milk, turkey and peanuts all contain chemicals that help the brain relax. So why not have a turkey and peanut butter sandwich? Step 2. Sleeping position. Another thing that affects the quality of your sleep is the position you sleep in. We all have our preferences. But for a perfect night's sleep, you should try to keep your body in a midline position, where both your head and neck are roughly straight. All you need is a properly supportive and comfortable bed, and some strategically placed pillows. If you sleep on your side, place a pillow between your knees. This will help support your hips. If you sleep on your back, place pillows under your knees to take the load off the lower back. Make sure there are enough pillows to support the neck and head in the midline position. Sleeping on your front isn't recommended. Head and neck are twisted in this position, which is bound to give you aches and pains. Step 3. The four R's. Getting to sleep is all about the four R's. Regularity, routine, a restful bedroom, and the right bed. Step 4. Regularity. Regularity of bedtimes and getting up times helps ensure a good sleep. If possible, try and go to bed and wake up at the same time every day. Keep your bedroom dark while you are sleeping, so that the light will not interfere with your rest. As soon as it's time to wake up, open the curtains or turn a light on. Light helps your body know it's time to wake up. Planned daytime naps are fine, but naps caused by sleepiness will ruin your nighttime sleep. Try to stay awake all day if you can. Right? Okay. Uh, okay, as we know, creating a relaxed bedroom, uh, bedtime routine is necessary. To achieve this goal, there are two key points that you need to remember. Keep your room, uh, room cool, and uh, from this sen uh, sensory uh, journey point, um, uh, out of sleep, uh, uh, out of sleeping in a hot environment is uh, dist uh, disturbed. Uh, this is why uh, you are asked to keep your room cold. Most of people sleep best in a temperature around uh, uh, 65 of uh, uh, and uh, make sure your bed is comfortable. Uh, uh, first and uh, foremost, the bed should be large enough for you to uh, stretch and uh, turn freely and uh, comfortably. Change a new matter and or pillow when you get up with a stroke bed and uh, the a uh, chill neck. Uh, do not uh, so, uh, uh, associate your bed uh, with the event like a work and uh, event, uh, events. The bed is only for you to sleep and uh, relax. And uh, 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 and uh, for this, uh, this all the tips. Uh, I will. Uh, I hope you have a good sleep and thank you.